Baker reporting from the American Diabetes Association Scientific Sessions. Here in Philadelphia, we've got more breaking news about diabetes trends in young people, and it does not bode well. A new study from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in the National Institutes of Health reveals that the prevalence of both type 1 and type 2 diabetes substantially increased in young people over the last decade. Type 1 was up 23% among American youth between 2001 and 2009, while type 2 diabetes was up 21% during that same time. Researchers also found early signs of serious complications emerging in children and adolescents with diabetes, raising concerns about the long-term health consequences for this and future generations if the trend is not reversed. These complications include kidney disease, cardiovascular disease, and nerve damage, which increase their risk for future lower limb amputations. Another important but not entirely surprising tidbit, researchers discovered that young people who watch three or more hours of television every day have higher blood glucose and triglyceride levels than those who watch less television. The study reinforces the need to ensure that young people with type 2 diabetes are getting more exercise, making healthier food choices, and maintaining healthier weights. We've known for a while that type 2 is on the rise among young Americans, but now we have the data to show exactly what a problem it has become. Type 2 diabetes was once known as, but can no longer rightly be called, adult onset diabetes. It's important to point out that type 1 diabetes is not believed to be impacted by lifestyle in the same way as type 2. Researchers are investigating several hypotheses from exposure to bacteria and viruses to when foods are first introduced to infants, but the reasons for the rise in type 1 are still unknown. I'm Anna Baker and this has been your breaking news update from the American Diabetes Association Scientific Sessions in Philadelphia. To view this press release online, please visit the Four Media section of our website. And for the latest diabetes research and news from scientific sessions, stay tuned to diabetes.org slash breaking news.